Hello everyone, happy 2024 and welcome to a new quick tip video. In today's video, we are going to talk about the configuration of blocks feature in Spotfire. And it will also show an example in oil and gas. The configuration box feature in Spotfire is a very unique uh, feature that enables us to inject uh, parameters and variables within the uh, URL of a specific application in Spotfire before opening uh, that application. That will also enable us to conditionally run a specific script or uh, do a specific action uh, based on the variables or the, uh, the parameters that uh, we are uh, injecting. Uh, let's take a look at this article that we have uh, here. This is a motivation example. Uh, let's assume that we have two dashboards. Uh, one of them is uh, a collection for uh, a number of pumps that we have and then the other one is uh, another dashboard that sources part of these and the other one is another dashboard that sources part of these uh, pumps uh, based on the user type or uh, another parameter. Now, uh, using the uh, configuration blocks, we will be able to, for example, uh, inject a filter or parameter uh, at the time of opening uh, that dashboard. Now, using the configuration blocks, we will be able to inject a parameter or filter in that dashboard uh, URL to enable us to to partially display uh, the dashboard. And configuration blocks are not limited to that. Uh, you can do uh, several uh, things in configuration blocks. For example, you can set page, uh, you can apply a bookmark, filter, marking, or a set a document property, which is one of the common uses uh, for configuration blocks. Uh, in this example, we are showing how to conditionally run specific Python script uh, based on uh, a document property that we have provided. Now, how do we uh, how do we set up the uh, configuration blocks? Uh, the compression box basically can be set up by adding uh, this part in the URL. So you basically add and configuration block to the end of the URL. Now, the way that we format the URL, it needs to be URL encoded or percentage encoded, uh, which means whatever you use or whatever you choose to use with your configuration block. Uh, needs to be encoded and then I usually use uh, this website uh, to uh, do the uh, encoding and more details uh, can be found on the uh, on the article but for example uh, if we want to for example if we want to set the uh, page when we open the dashboard to be a home page we can add configuration block equal set page and then you can notice that the quotation marks here are uh, URL included. And here is an example of adding uh, more than uh, uh, one configuration sheet. So, um, so here uh, we are setting a page and we are setting a filter and we are also uh, setting a, a column name. So let's take a look at this uh, DXP file. In here we have a data function uh, set up and then the data function is very simple. So uh, we are looking at a document property called flag. So if the document property equals A, then the uh, data function will give us this output. Basically, it will tell us the input value is A, and if it's B, it will tell us B. If it's nothing, uh, it will uh, output no value provided. What we will do is we will uh, provide this value through the configuration blocks uh, in the uh, URL. So I'll close this and then uh, let's close it and then we will uh, go back uh, to our configuration block. Uh, I have prepared the URL already. So uh, the URL is uh, the whole link to the dashboard and configuration blocks equals the uh, property and the property value and you can see it's url encoded here so let's try to uh, replace the b with a here and then we can uh, so it's a 
And then let's repeat the value. Let's try, let's keep it B. And you can see it's B. And let's provide, instead of B, let's provide nothing, basically two quotations. Uh, and then you can see that it's no value provided uh, here. So this was a quick video about the complication blocks and then some possible use cases uh, in oil and gas and other verticals. I uh, hope you found it useful. Uh, thank you so much and stay tuned for uh, other good tip videos. Thank you.